TSM version 6, new functions and features, and data deduplication. As you can see here, I am logged in into the TSM Administration Center. On the right side, you can see the Tivoli Storage Manager tab, and you can also see a new tab, which is used for Tivoli Common Reporting. In version 6, we have Tivoli Common Reporting for Tivoli Storage Manager available as well. First, let's have a quick look on the Health Monitor. The Health Monitor has been improved, so we have now more functions in the Health Monitor. I have one server here, which I'm managing, the template server. And you can see the health of this server on one page here. You can see the storage device status, you can see the activity log, and you can see the overall status as well. You can also see if there were missed schedules or you can see any type of uh, warning and error in here. In version 6, we actually allow you, if you have an error, that you can directly hyperlink to the cause of the error and fix it right from the health monitor. We also have a new tab for client nodes and backup sets. Unlike in the past, where you had to navigate through policy domains and policy sets in order to get to client nodes, we can now directly access the client nodes and the backup sets, and we can perform all the node-related actions right from here. We can sort this by server, and we can even search for individual nodes across multiple TSM servers. This is also a new function in version 6. Well, let's go back to our storage devices tab here. And you can see that we have five storage pools defined here. And at this point in time, they're all empty. You can see this by the percentage that's been utilized. It's zero percentage utilized. So all of the five storage pools, which are all on disk, are empty at this point in time. So let's perform a backup and see how this reflects a change in the storage pool. I am using our new backup archive client here, which is now written in Java, which, allow, which allows for portability and gives us flexibility in terms of how we can uh, deploy this new client. Let's back up one directory. I want to back up the critical directory. And I am selecting an always backup, which means I am not leveraging the incremental forever function in TSM. I'm just backing up this directory. We can see the backup report. It has been completed. We have actually backed up 10 objects. Now let's refresh our storage pools here. And we can see that our backup pool, of course the backup pool, this is where the backup data are going to, is now 13.1% utilized. So this is about approximately about 3 megabyte that we have now backed up into this particular storage pool. Let's do it again. So we back up now the exact same directory, the critical directory. I will again choose an always backup, which will force the client to back up everything that's in there again. Backup completed, 10 objects. Let's refresh the storage pool. And we can see that this storage pool is now utilized by 26.2%. That would be approximately 6 megabytes. Okay. Now let's open the TSM administrative command line client. And what I want to do now is I want to migrate this storage pool. 
So I type in the migrate storage pool command. So I am now forcing a migration of my backup pool. And when we go back here and refresh the table, we can see that the backup pool is now empty. And instead, I have moved the data into the sequential deduplication pool, the SEQ DUP pool. This one has a capacity of 40 meg. So it's still our six megabytes and they now show up as 13.1 percent. So all the data are now in a different disk pool. Okay. The next thing I would like to do is I would like to back up this storage pool. The reason why I'm backing up the storage pool is because I have defined that data deduplication can only take place when a backup has been performed on this exact same storage pool. Okay, so I have backed up the storage pool. Let's do it again and see how this reflects in our table right here. So I have to refresh it and we can see that we have the same data that we have in the sequential deduplication pool. We have the same data now also in the copy storage pool. So we also have this one pool, this pool being utilized 13.1%. So we have six megabyte sitting in both pools at this point in time. Okay, now let's take a look in the new TSM6 data deduplication function. I would like to perform this function on my sequential data deduplication pool here. So I select the radio button and I can actually scroll down here and there is a new function called identify duplicates. So I click on this function I can define the number of processes which are being used to identify duplicate data. I just want to go with one process at this point in time. I click OK. That is essentially all I have to do. Which means I have now marked this storage pool as a data deduplication pool. It has to be a sequential disk pool. Otherwise, data deduplication will not be supported. Okay. At this point in time, nothing has been deduped. At this point in time, we have just enabled the storage pool to be deduped. And again, it's 40 megabyte and 30.1% are being utilized at this point in time. Let's go back to our TSM administration command line. And what I want to do next is I want to reclaim space on that storage pool, on the sequential DDU pool, the SEQ DUP pool. In a production environment, this would be a scheduled task that runs on the TSM server in predefined uh, time slots. So this is typically a, a, an action that takes place uh, overnight. Let's do it. Okay, we can see that the reclaim storage pool command has been started. And I can go back in here and I can now refresh the table again. And almost magically, we can see that the sequential deduplication pool is now only half the size of what it was before. Remember, we had about 13.1% utilized before. 
was about 6 megabyte. Now we only have 6.6%, which is half of that. And why is that? Because I backed up the same data twice. And now I have deduped it. So TSM server has basically eliminated all the duplicates. So I save about 50% here. Okay. Proof is that my copy pool, which is up here, is still 13.1% utilized. So as you can see, the only thing for TSM in order to perform data deduplication is that you mark the storage pool as a to be deduped pool and you just perform a reclaim storage pool function and data deduplication takes immediately place.